guys, my name is Lee. I'm Scott. We're here at Sunny Coast M4A1 for another Gel Blaster review video. On today's episode, we will jump straight into this brand new blaster, which is a Wells CQB. So very excited about this one, guys. Let's jump into it. Alright guys, we've just got uh, Scotty here and he's going to take you through what comes in the box with this brand new uh, CQB blaster from Well. Yep, alright so we have the CQB little shorty, we have a magazine, the short 7 volt battery to fit in the short buffer tube, a USB charger, uh, it's little gels, always recommend use Ausgel gels as better quality. Yep. Uh, we have our stop and think. Um, uh, pages, these are in all of our blasted boxes, yep. so keeps you safe and legal. Yep. I uh, have an M4A1 legality on one side page, and on the other one we have safety tips for batteries. And we have our Chinese IKEA catalogue for setting up your blaster. Yep. So that's a nice and condensed little box. Now we'll jump into putting it together. So with this one, it'll slide out here. If you do get stuck, make sure you contact one of the stores or come see one of our teams, team members in any one of our 15 stores. Clicks in. Flip up nylon sights. And that's pretty much how she comes out of the box. Yeah, that's nice and simple. Yep. We'll jump into the over overview, guys, of this uh, new blaster from Well, the new CQB. So let's um, start at the front end. What we've got here is a nylon um, muzzle or flash hider. We've got a nylon fishbone. This one's about five inches long. Uh, nylon iron sights on the top, front and rear. Nylon receiver. Uh, this one is running the plastic style P-Mag, so this is pretty cool. A new little um, magazine from Well, so you can see there that it is the uh, actual Well style terminals on the top. Um, and just the rear, rear fill, just like the majority of blasters have, uh, like your standard Gen 8 ones. Um, so that's a pretty cool little new addition there. Um, we got this really funky uh, CQB style stock on the rear. Just your little lever at the back to adjust that one in and out. Oh, that's going to be a pain for me. There we go. Um, charge handle is nylon. We do have a brand new gearbox in here, guys. This is a brand new uh, strong nylon gearbox. Um, runs the full style T piece, so Wells full style T piece, black nylon. Uh, nice little addition there. Uh, these boxes, yeah very strong very nice they are like the uh the orange Simon gearboxes for your strength so very durable box uh, these ones do come with your aluminium barrels as well guys um, they are the nine mil outers in uh, traditional uh, well format um, they do have a nice little nylon pistol grip they do run the 480 motor uh, they are nylon gears internally, 18 to 1s, running on your 7.4 volt battery. Um, yeah, great little blaster. They are hitting 220 to 240 FPS, straight out of the box. Um, other than that guys, they are a V2 uh, gearbox as before, uh, I said 480 motor, uh, semi-automatic, fully automatic and safe. Um, yeah. The sky is really the limit with this one guys. It does also have an aluminium outer barrel, even though it is quite short, it still is aluminium. Build quality on these blasters are solid. They are exceptionally nice. They are definitely getting better as the time goes on. Um, yeah, with these new wells. Uh, they are an M4. They do have a little bit of a different uh, characteristic on the upper receiver there for your forward assist button and with your charge handle they are a little bit different again so yeah 
We've also got uh, sling mounts, so I'll show you on mine. Yep. So you do have your sling points. Yep. Um, so as you buy those extra bits, uh, especially for the PDW stock. Yep. That's 14 mil. Ah, uh, yep. Counterclockwise. Yep. Yep. So definitely. All your other flash hiders for most of your other ones, even like your J10, your J9. Yep. Your 14 mil CCW ends will fit. Yep. As uh, just a bit of a heads up for that as well. Yeah. As we always do here, Scott, with all of our blasters, yep. let's uh, jump into our, our ratings. Uh, we have uh, four categories and we rate all the blasters out of ten. So uh, let's kick it off, Scott. I'll hand this bad boy back over to yourself Sweet. and we'll start <laughs> off with looks. What are you going to rate the uh, brand new Well CQB? I've always been a fan of the shorties. Yep. Um, for almost a year now, I've been nagging about the shorty love. Yeah, he has. So it's. Little 50 blue. weeks now of nagging about shorties. Yeah. Um, I'm going to give it a 9.5. Yeah. Uh, just because I'm a big fan of shorties. Yep. I like that it's still an M4, so yep. you can change bits as you like. Um, just makes it more for your taste. So my personal taste, I will change iron sights in time. I'll yep. put a metal charging handle, but for looks out of the box. Yep. Very clean, very crisp. Yep. So I'll so give it a 9.5. Yep, and for myself, guys, uh, straight out of the box, looks wise, uh, it took me a very long time to come around to the shorties. Very I long really time. did not like them, but I now have seen the um, the pros with running around with a very short blaster. Delight. It is a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I do like this blaster. I'm going to give it a solid 8 out of 10, straight out of the box. Um, we'll move on, Scott. Firepower. Yep. What do you reckon? Uh, since Chinese regulations keep it at about that 2 to 220, yep. uh, out of the box, you know, for what we can get yep. from factory, I think it's still pretty good. Yep. The fact it's consistent is nice. So Wells yep. really good for that consistency. Yep. The fact that it's an M4 and that new style Gearbox have gone away from the polycarb. Yep. So much better. The polycarb yeah. is really weak and brittle. Yes. Yep. Uh, the new one is awesome. I'll be chucking yeah. a, a 1A to mine. Yep. Uh, I'll be upgrading mine, but we'll talk about ours in a little bit. Yeah, 1.18, guys, 1. not a 1.8. 1. 1. Yeah. Well, that's why I hand it to you and tell you what I want to. I'll tell you how it looks. Yep. Um, so, yeah, I reckon I'll give it a, an 8 just because I know what can be done. Yep. Um, yeah. Yeah, for myself, guys, uh, with firepower, uh, just on the 7 volt with 18 to 1s, uh, this blaster sits right in that mid range, straight out of the box. It's hitting around those uh, 15 rounds per second. 12 to 15 rounds a second, I'd give it a solid 6. Um, cool, moving on. Uh, next one would be uh, modability. 10. What do you think, Scott? It's ten. 10. Yeah, um, yep. it's a V2. It's a I've M4. made a, a couple of my M4s look just yeah. like this. Uh, if you see me yep. on the field, a um, little blue one looks just yep. like it. Yep. Um, but being a V2 with the new well um, yep. nylon gearbox. Yep. Solid grain straight nylon ten. box. Yeah. Yep. We'll have the V2. It's really easy to work with. M4 mm. platform means everything you can yep. get. There's yep. a, a ton. Yep. So that's why I'll give it a 10. Yep, and for myself, guys, as well, it is straight up a 10. Uh, it's exactly like Scott said, uh, M4, V2, 480 motor, straight out of the box. Sky is really the limit on what you would like to do. I mean, you could even, if you wanted to, change the front end back to a long, mid-range. You don't have to keep the short rear stocks. Everything is up for grabs. You can do whatever you would like. Yeah. So, yeah, even your metal gearboxes, if you don't like the nylon, you can chuck in there anything, so we'll straight up the, 10. the V2 metal yeah, ones we, which we you still straight do. in it. Yep, and they'll go straight in there as well. And then if you want to go next level, you've got your billet gearboxes as yep. well, which are awesome, which are my fave. Um, and last one, it's going to be durability, Scott. Yep. What are you thinking? Um, I reckon when we, we come back for like a, a six month video view mm -hmm. and review, we'll be able to do a bit easier. Yep. Um, from mm. the little we've, I've played around with it, yep. I reckon they're great. Strong yep. nylon, yep. Uh, and the fact it's the revised, stronger gearboxes. Yeah. Uh, from how I see, yep. these are ready. It's a nine. Yep. Uh, but I would like to, when we come back later on in the year, and do a one of our our own 
in review, you'll be able to see how much we've thrashed and how they hold up. Yeah, oh, definitely. And for myself as well, as our wells keep bringing out these new blasters, they're just getting stronger and stronger. Their build quality is definitely going up. Uh, straight out of the box, I'm going to rate this one a solid 8. So, again, unless you do something silly like fall over and land on top of your blaster, uh, the only really weak point you could point out is simply the fact that there are a few uh, alloy rails here to this rear plastic part for your stock. If you are a bit of a Neanderthal, <laughs> you may, you may uh, cause some damage there, pulling it into your shoulder a bit too tight. Otherwise, I think it's perfect. Everything's solid. The receiver does not creak around. The front fish bone to the receiver is nice, nice and, solid. and solid. There's no flex there. They're like the older HK style, so yeah, very cool. Like all in fours, though, guys, don't yank back yeah. on your charging handle. <laughs> They're not this, real, so don't yeah, try. The, the spring will give out. Yeah, um, you're not flicking three or eight rounds out of the back yeah. of your head. Um, you know. so, so this is your one over here. Yeah, Scott. I'll show you what I'm, what I'm planning on doing with mine. Yep. So um, the tips off. At the moment, my 14mm flash hider, yep. that's because I will trim this down a bit, because I'll be chucking one of the Osgel tracer units onto it. And you guys can see the uh, alloy barrel there as well. Yep, so nice little alloy barrel. Yep. I've got one of our little um, $20 foregrips. Yeah, they the um, Tac brand. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, Paytac, yeah. Just so it's it's nice, uh, around CQB, because we're playing it urban a lot, yep. just lets me pull it around a bit easier. Yep. Um, I've got my old little vector torch on top, Yep. Uh, I will upgrade that later. Um, I'll be running a drum, so I don't have no, we don't my have drum. Oh, this mm -hmm. one here will fit. So CQB, having the, the ability for one of the, the World V1, V2, V3 drums. They are compatible. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, that in tight little package, I will be painting it as well. Just see that further down the track. Yep. So they hold what around a thousand gels. Just those over, yeah, over a thousand. Still. So yeah, I'm we... sit back with the trace unit. Yeah. I'll do a pack of uh, Osgel Armatec White uh, to one pack of the Osgel Glows. Yep. That gives me a ratio of about one in three will be a tracer unit. Yep. Uh, tracer gel going through the unit, so yep. I can be lazy, never have to worry about carrying mags. I just run around and hose people for a couple hours yeah. without having to change the bags. So um, that's yeah. pretty much my little setup. Yep. Uh, I won't go too crazy. I may change the cylinder head Yep. Uh, and that 1.18 spring. Yeah, so they do come with a 1.4 uh, spring from factory, but it is a very soft 1.4 spring. So again, only hitting that 220-ish yep. FPS. Um, and on purpose, as Scott explained, they are restricted. So we want to keep these things legally coming in. Yep. So 220 is not too bad out of the box, guys. And if you do want to modify it, have a chat to any of our guys in the shop. We'll help you get there. So in conclusion, <laughs> guys, uh, the brand new Well CQB Blaster is awesome. Uh, we love it down here at Sunny Coast M4A1. You can see Scott has one. I myself have one as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we look forward to modding these blasters in the future and uh, showing the guys what we've yeah. actually done with them and how they've held up. Chris has modded his up as well. Yeah, he so. has already. Um, so yeah, definitely uh, get on down to one of our shops. Come and try one of these blasters out for yourselves. If you can't get to any of our 15 shops, they'll be listed all over the screen. Uh, we have online at m4a1gelblaster.com and everything over thirty dollars, Scott. Still free shipping. Free shipping. So definitely get on there. Um, check out the sales that we may have going yep. on still. Uh, definitely get amongst that, guys. Um, otherwise, it's that very end uh, important part that we always get to. It's time to stop and think, guys. So um, we hope that you guys have been playing safe. Uh, of recent, there have been a few more incidents, so we would definitely like to just point your attention at the Stop and Think campaign. If you could just definitely uh, read over the guidelines, guys, of how to use and be safe with your gel blasters in public. Um, it's gonna help yourself stay out of trouble. It's gonna help the sport continue on. Yeah. It's gonna be great for the youth long-term. Yeah. It's gonna be great for us 
grown kids long term, mental health uh, positives all around for everybody. So. Get kids off the Xbox and doing yeah. more of a team sport, bit of social interaction like puppy puppy preschool. Oh, for sure. I'd say iPro. Yep. So always iPro. As always. <laughs> Keep um, your iPro on. Yeah, never take them off. Yep. Um, bag your blasters from that. Even walking through car parks or fields, it's still a public place. So you may think it's not, yep. but there's special places like Twin Waters mm. or even Urban or Donny. Yep. Traveling from the car park to it, someone still may see it, freak out, call yep. Triple O, yep. and that'll yep. lend you game. They may have quick. insurance from the gate inside. So you just remember that is yep. still possibly public space on yeah. the outside there. So just be smart about it, guys. Have a think before you act. Awesome, guys. Well, that really sums up everything here down at Sunny Coast M4A1. Yeah. Uh, thanks for tuning in. My name's Lee. I'm Scott. And we will see you guys next time on the next uh, yeah. video review. That's right. Yeah. I lost my words For these there. things. Yeah. <laughs> I knew where they were. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Cheers, guys.